Hello, Aries. Welcome to your mid-January to shit. February. That's the next month. February reading for this new current year. Actually, I'm starting to do spreads a little bit differently this year. I'm, well, I'll experiment with this one. I'll see how you guys like it. Um, I actually decided to lay the cards out. Normally, I don't do that shit. I always think that's cheating, but like I tried it the other night with the an NPC read, and it was like, oh, this is actually a little bit more um, clear when I just lay them out like this already without having to like keep moving on. I can just sit here and look at them like, oh, that's kind of fucky. Oh, that's cool. Oh, why is there a dead body? You know, little things like that. Like, the things that make your heart sing, you know? So anyway, Aries and Crosswatchers, this is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose. Away it goes, because... There's no point in worrying about shit that don't matter to you or has nothing to do with you. You mind your business. Okay, anyway. So Aries, six ways, right? With the current energy, right? Like, there might be a third party situation that led to a breakup that gave you empowerment to be your emperor self, right? But it, there's an issue. Hmm. Keep recording. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to it's okay. But yeah, like, we got the Emperor up here, but the problem is, is that the Emperor down in the obstacle and challenges for you is reversed, dude, and he's got, like, he's kind of out of control because, like, he's stuck in his head. Hmm. It's, like, definitely in control of things and how it's going to work out, but it's going to keep you a little bit of a mental bind you're going to have to get yourself out of, right? Right. Hmm. Goddamn, that's some good coffee. Anyway. In the situation, we have somebody wasting their time. The hanged man right here could be with the Pisces, right? That shit is not apparently going to start. Like, whatever you're waiting for, or whatever you thought you were waiting for, probably not so much. It's probably like, uh, are, are, are you waiting for something that's actually going to be beneficial to you, or are you waiting for something that, like, you yeah, know, not, not so much. Oh, I was all that way zoomed in. My bad, guys. My bad. Anyway, um, your wants and wishes right here. You got the temperance card coming together. Call for patience between two people. Someone's a sour patch kid about that, and that's why you're probably in your head feeling like you're losing control or you need to exert so much control to where it makes you kind of tyrannical. It's because you're in your head about shit down your obstacles and challenges. Fear of rejection. Using the Queen of Swords to be able to cut out some energy. But you're afraid of that energy because that might mean actually having to walk away from some shit. Even though I think you're aware there might not be any emotions here. Or you're worried that like maybe an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is doing that with you. Don't really know, right? How this shit starts, how it'll end the Prince of Wands. This could be you, Aries, also a Leo or a Sagittarius. Stalling being stagnant not putting energy into anything because they don't want to give that love once again it's like both of these motherfuckers you could be dealing with a a sag yourself they might want to come together but they're not really good with like expressing their emotions i feel like or they're really childish or ignorant about it whereas you you might be like just stalling on a little bit and just be like you know what? i'll match your energy and raise it to a knight and you can go fuck yourself a little bit and this is all under the energy of the beginning theme of temptation so there we go. That's the basis of what you're doing for a month now. I don't know what caused me to start trying this. Normally I wouldn't like lay the cards out unless I'm actually talking, right? But like today is a different day and it's a new year, so I guess we're gonna try something different. Or it'll end horribly wrong, who knows? It's whatever. Anyway, this Three of Cups with the Emperor up here. Like, you could be in a third party. Your person could be in a third party. There might be even be a third party you don't know about. Or you're trying to get rid of your vices. So that way you can gain control of yourself again. Right? But it's dark and you're not sure where you're going to take your offers to. And that's why it's got you a little bit stuck. It's like you're in the dark about where you're going to go, and that's what's keeping you at a crossroads longer than it should. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, he's reversed, so he's kind of keeping himself there on purpose for whatever reason, right? Let's see. The Hanged Man. 
he's still reversed down here and that's why I can't get this new beginning. It's like you're so in the dark about where something's going to be delivered or something's going to be delivered or if you're going to be delivering it that it's like you don't know where to go but it's like you can go wherever the fuck you want to go. It, it, there's an entire desert out there. Go piss on something and make a tree. You know? Yeah, someone who's being this hanged man reverse and the ace of wands reverse. It's like someone's wasting time because there is no new beginning. And it's like this person who's out in the cold is comfortable being out in the cold. Like, there might be somebody on the inside. Sure, they care about them. But the person on outside in the cold is like, yeah, I know you love me, but like... I'm alone and I'm frozen and you're not coming out to come get me so fuck it you know yeah it's like you're just gonna have to walk away from that shit despite the fact that like you know you might still have feelings here or the person that's being left out in the cold has to leave their feelings behind because like you know there's nothing starting here or there's something isn't starting with them Let's see. Wants and wishes of the Temperance Reverse. And this page of cups. Why is Temperance not offering a cup happily? Because I don't know if the love is there. It's like they could go and search for it, but it, it, it's almost like they feel like it isn't there for them. It's just like, okay, I know you say that you love me, but it's like, you know, you make me feel a little bit... like it's full of nothing but regrets you know it's like whoever this is is like they're all sad about shit but it's like whoever they're dealing with is like they're all in the dark about it too down below your cardigan aries the emperor this time he's reversed this is your obstacle and challenge being stuck in your head about shit right you might feel defeated, but you might also feel like you gotta get up on your feet. Or this is someone that you're dealing with who you might have defeated. Feeling like, oh, I'll eventually get back up. And then I will start anew. It's like you feel like someone bested you in retaliation you're just saying i'm gonna leave and i'm gonna let bitches burn too but it's like you also let shit burn while you were asleep it's like you weren't paying attention almost like there was an entire opportunity to do something but it's like instead someone just decided to take a nap and everything went on fire it was like oh i can leave this alone i don't have to put any energy into it it'll be fine and then everything all of a sudden the house is on fire and it's like oh shit you know Fears of rejections, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, yes. Um, walking away without the feeling, just being like, you know what, I'm going to better shit anyway, fuck it. It's like almost a decision thing, it's like you're afraid someone's going to decide that. As if they're not using your intuition, ooh, and it could be that sad you were worried about too. Hmm, you have a lot of Pisces with you too, Aries. Hmm. But it's almost like huh. It's like someone isn't using their intuition but they're looking for peace of or almost like a need to like communicate between the two cups. Yeah, because Temperance has two cups, and I always thought it was weird. It's like, yeah, okay. Like, other than, like, the court cards, really, a lot of people don't hold the cups in the cards, I've noticed. But Temperance always has two. So it's always like, oh, it's like two people becoming one, having to communicate or whatever. And it's like, someone might not be using their intuition in order to communicate with someone they're close to. Or they just weren't paying attention to the signs, because I really feel like this is someone who, um... It's almost like you're dealing with someone who was trying to... Like they were trying to tell you something, but I'm not sure. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Prince of Wands, not giving emotions back either. And adding a check to it too. 
Um, it's like you can't reach the other person this way. You could definitely be dealing with water or another fire sign. It's like not being able to communicate with the person who you care about the most. Like, it's almost like someone may not be able to see it. But someone isn't showing either or putting their soul into it about how they really feel about this person over here. What's the ending theme? Because I feel like this is a lot of temptations, vices, restrictions. And being a little bit of a sour patch pants. This is like somebody who, um... Aries, whoever this queer is, you or Crosswatcher, right? Um, this person... It's causing a lot of fucking stagnation when it comes to, um, I feel like, two people who are together. If not, then just you. But it's also, like, mm, very, very intriguing. Anyway, let's clarify all these, and then we'll be done. And you guys can tell me how it went, okay? All right, so, Aries. Yeah, whatever this is, it's like it drove somebody away and they didn't mean to drive them away, but they're still acting like it's victorious. Aries, you could be doing this, being like, oh, I don't care, I'll beat your ass again. If you come over here bitching about me beating your ass, Lord, please stop me from beating this bitch's ass while I'm saying your prayers. <laughs> mm. It looks fair to you. It's like you're paying homage to something old. What conflicting words, dude? It's like... It's almost like paying respect to someone you've known for a while or paying respect to your elders, but it's also like, you know... Hmm. Driving some way you don't want them to go, but it's like you're giving them something in exchange. You might not even realize that, like, old dude's got his face covered. He'd be like, you have no idea. I'm really 16 wearing a fake beard, you know? Weird shit, right? This situation where this person out in the cold wants to walk away, despite their love. They're looking on their phones, waiting for a text, being like, let me know what to do so I can move forward with myself. You know, uh, ooh, two. I need to take care of myself, and I need to know where the investments are fucking going. It's like they're waiting. It's almost like they're waiting on you to decide how everything's going to go down. Aries, why does it feel like somebody doesn't trust you? Not like, I, I don't think that, like, I don't know. It's almost like, I don't want to think that you're the person in the third party because it doesn't feel that way. But it's almost like the reactions you're having is causing someone wanting to go away. I don't know. It's weird. Temperance with is someone looking for love. And the other person really looking at, like, I feel like this is a waste of my time on this. Something's gonna change in the wants and wishes, and damn it, you're gonna shoot someone with an arrow. You might even shoot this, um, possible Sagittarius, but then it's gonna, like, make you regret how it all went down. I feel like you're dealing with someone who feels like they aren't loved by you anymore. And instead of understanding where they came from, you might end up shooting them down as they're trying to look for their peace because it really feels like they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. But it's like you're trying to shoot them down, but the way it almost seems like you're shooting them down twice is driving them away, and it's also causing you to almost regret letting them fucking drown the way they did. If not, then that's what they're doing to you. One of the two. Obstacles and challenges. Queen of Pentacles, Earth Sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Could be a demanding bitch. Could be an unfaithful spouse. Could be somebody who just doesn't give a shit, runs around, does whatever, like a chicken with their head cut off. Probably doesn't pay attention too much. She's too busy looking at her pentacle in her face. Being like, is my face really that pretty and golden and shit? No, that's your pentacle. Your face is the fat thing on the side of it. You know, there's a difference. You know? Mm. 
Aries, I feel like this person, like... It's like they're demanding to bury something. It's like they want something. And they might not be going about it in the most healthy, talk, untoxic way. But I also feel like that, um... I don't know, it's just, it feels old. It feels like this is something that, like... They didn't want it? I don't know. You guys always hang out with weird people and shit. Alright. Various of rejections. Like, someone isn't paying attention to their intuition, but they're looking for peace with somebody, too, I feel like. And, and, and like, it's almost like a fear you're afraid that they're going to make the decision just to leave. That's because they're fucking pissed as the Empress Reverse. It's like a mother figure or something. Fortunately, they have a hard time letting shit go, and all they want to do is express their emotions. Which, you know, you might be potentially shooting down regardless of their positions and such, right? It's like this person wants to try to talk to you, but it's like every time they try to talk to you. I don't know. It's almost like having an argument with a brick fucking wall, I feel like, Aries and Crosswatcher. It's like, they want to tell you exactly how they feel or what they want, I guess, done? But someone shoots their emotions down and then the fish just flips out of the cup. Like, they want to talk, but it's impossible, because it's like, I don't know, maybe it's like you don't f listen. Like, I don't know, you're, you're a fire sign. Fire signs have a hard time listening, sometimes. Love you, baby. Like... Love you more. <laughs> I have a feeling you just said something bad about me. I said something bad about fire signs. Well, I don't know what a fire sign is. Well, Leo, Sag, Aries, you know. Fuck yeah, I'm fire. <laughs> Let's see. How this shit starts, how it'll end, Aries. I get to be a lion and I get to be fire? Yes, you get to be a fiery lion. That's pretty fucking cool. It is pretty cool. You are a frying. A frying. Good shit. Right? Let's see. Yeah, whatever would be given in this situation. <laughs> yeah, and like, okay, if there's an offer to be made, if you take this pinnacle from the Queen of Pentacles, right, you're gonna have a mess to clean up, right? But I feel like you already knew that this mess was going on, because it's like, you're up right here with no amount of third party, but you're in your head about shit. Like, you might feel like this person's greedy, Aries, and I don't think you're wrong. But I also feel like this person's been asking for something, and it's like... It's almost like a feeling of like, you know, like, I'm not gonna turn you down, I'm just gonna make you feel, like, ridiculous for suggesting that to me. No, I'm bored, let's go do something else. Like, you know, one of those things, right, where it's like, it's just, you don't have the energy to deal with that. Yeah, and it's like, it's, it, it's not gonna help anything at all. I'll draw one more. Yeah, it, it like... Mm. This Queen of Pentacles might be asking you to end shit. But instead, it's like, you know... Well, what if I take this pentacle and try to do whatever? And it's like, no, that just makes it fucking worse. It, it makes it worse, and it drops the swords all over the hearts again, dude. So you or whoever, Aries and Crosswatcher, um, are probably just going through a fucking cycle. But, that's the reading I got for y'all. So I hope that helps y'all out. I will see you later. Oh, if you want personal, all my info is down below in the description box, right? Newcomers, first ratings on the house. And if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I don't know. I love your faces. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.